Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas or another episode of Vlogmas. So in today's video, I'll be trying to make eggnog. I'll be following a recipe that I found on the internet uh, from scratch. I have everything that a recipe calls for. I have a bourbon, I have eggs, milk, cream, sugar, and um, cinnamon and nutmeg. I might use a pinch of salt because my granny always say um, that whenever you're dealing with anything with milk, you should try to put a pinch of salt. So, I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's see how this works out. So everything is here. So the first step is to... Oh, I should mention there are two um, options. The raw eggnog, that's the one that you don't put in a pot at all. And the cooked one. I was very nervous when I thought that I had to do the raw one. And then I said, then I found out that there is a cooked eggnog recipe. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to try this. So, in a medium saucepan over, uh, in a bowl of a stand mixer, I'm not using, I don't have a stand mixer, beat the egg yolks until they lighten in color. Gradually add sugar. So, I should use four eggs and uh, one third cup of sugar. That almost became disastrous really quick. <laughs> Lord have mercy. See, um, I'm not used to separating egg yolks from egg white. So one of the egg yolk um, broke. So I had to use a different one. And also because us Jamaican people don't really follow a recipe, um, I almost um, doubled the amount of sugar because it says one third of a cup, but I read two third of a cup. So it's a good thing that I look up. And I have about one third left, so at least that won't be disastrous. All right, <sighs> please let this work. Let me see what's next. Uh, so, in a medium saucepan over high heat, combine the milk, heavy cream, and nutmeg, nutmeg and bring just to a boil. <clears throat> Stirring occasionally, remove from the heat, and gradually. Ah, okay. So, milk, heavy cream, not milk. All right, milk, heavy cream. Make sure that all the sugar is dissolved. I forgot the amount of um milk, so let me go back up. Uh -huh. 1 point What the hell is 1 point? <laughs> 1 point. Me understand point. 1 point of milk. My granny would could I understand that. <laughs> I think I converted it before you know, but I forgot. 1 1 point of milk in milliliters. 473 milliliters, which is about roughly almost three, almost um, two and a half cup. All right, cool. No, 200 milliliters. So it would be 200 a little bit, but that's only full um, heavy cream I have. So let me get measuring. It's because it's my first time. Um, where I am measuring everything in the you know. Every time I get this recipe done, girl, not measuring anything after this. Just want to make sure that um, I'm doing it properly. Oh, 
don't fall out please I remember this uh, one time I was baking in 10th grade, I made 9th grade, I think, 13th grade. We were supposed to make sponge cake and I whisk the eggs until the egg rises and falls. So when I put um, the egg in, um, the cake, you know, sponge cake is mainly egg. When I put the cake in the oven and it come out, it fall because there is nothing left in it to rise. And Miss Gar said, what kind of band fruit sponge cake this man? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't forget. So I'm going to put the stove on low, low heat. Because I don't want, according to them, or according to the recipe, you should just heat the milk. You don't want to boil it. No, my skin goes scratch me later, I know, because I'm not supposed to be drinking milk, milk, milk. Look at me. I got these nutmegs eggs from um, Amazon on Sunday. I ordered it. I didn't even know that I could actually get nutmeg here. And I just typed it in on Amazon because I always have nutmeg powder and cinnamon powder. And I found the nutmeg and cinnamon sticks from the same company. The recipe didn't say cinnamon. I didn't see it. I don't think it's there. But usually cinnamon is in um, eggnog. While I was growing up, my mother never uh, made this. I don't think she's a fan of eggnog, just because it's egg. And I think my grandmother used to make it, but probably raw, I don't know. Sugar is on the grater. I don't like grating anything. Right. also called for vanilla let me check again because I'm just here doing what my mind tell me to do um you were whether or not it calls there's no vanilla here but whether or not it calls a vanilla I'm using vanilla but I can't add the vanilla as yet because vanilla has um I think it's the base is alcoholic and you know alcohol boiling point is way lower than most liquids so that vanilla would just evaporate I don't remember. I was told in chemistry, but that was so many years ago. Probably 78. Alcohol was at 78 um, degrees Celsius. Uh, I think so. It's some 8. I don't remember which, but I know it's not 88. So it's either 78 or 98. I'm going to leave the egg alone. It's going to look rich. Oh my. I'll turn up the stove a little bit so when I see it start heating up uh, immediately turn it up because I don't have time. <laughs> I need to get ready for work. Half in the meantime. And guess what? I have fresh bagels and cream cheese. Cream cheese is something else that I shouldn't be eating. But I asked my uh, my boss was going to my boss from my second job, he was going to Costco and he got me bagel and cream cheese. It's the first time eating bagel since I moved to Japan. I think I bought bagel, a, a bagel when I was um, on my way here. And that was the last time. I love bagels. So the next part of the recipes, it, uh, recipe is to remove the heat from the, uh, remove from the heat and gradually temper the hot mixture into the egg and sugar. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I think we should do it a little by little so we don't cook the egg. That's what I think. Because regardless, um, ooh. start with a little. I'm so anxious, so I don't want to spoil it. So I'm doing it. Good, we can't wait to drink it. So, 
So next, um, return to everything to the pot and cook. Um, so I'm going to just turn on the stove. I don't want it to boil. Turn it down low and um, occasionally stir it. I didn't, they didn't. They don't give like all the details, but use a common sense. <laughs> you must know you can't put it on high heat, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. Low, low heat again. Okay, look good. I'm gonna put more nut and egg. Okay, okay. It look like you can't take more nut and egg. Or not make what you want call it. And then low heat for about five minutes. And occasionally stay extremely low heat. Oh, I forgot to put the pinch of salt. Um, pinch of salt. Just a pinch. You know, salt also brings out sweetness in things. Like a pinch. <laughs> pinch of salt. almost had a disaster because I'm getting ready for work I am um, I was almost 100% sure the stove was on low but it was on almost high because there are four different um, options here almost had a disaster but I caught it just in time that's why I kept moving it off I turned it off and then I kept moving the pot off and it's just because I'm not paying attention but I'm going to let that cool I've turned off the heat about two minutes ago so I don't need to like keep checking it again I'm going to let it cool up and add it to this container here, this jar. I bought this jar specifically to put the eggnog in. So when it cools, I'm going to add um, the bourbon, the recipe calls for three ounces, and um, the vanilla. This one's finished. Ooh. Banira. Banira, right? Eh? Is it the same? Yes, Banira. Oh, different. I didn't even notice they were different. Banira. 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 Okay, so when it cools, I'm going to add these and then I'm just going to um, put it here and put it in the fridge. I will tell you later exactly how it is. So, I wasn't, I wasn't going to strain it off, off screen, but um, it's cool, so I'm just gonna do it now and let you guys see. Um, the longer you keep it on, the thicker it will get. Um, that's what um, I saw based on what I read. However, um, I also know that because remember, the more heat you apply to egg, it coagulates. And oh, I'm not throwing away this. Not the back side. If I go right back in and use them. I'm wondering. I'm going to strain it through. Oh, look how thick it is. Can you imagine when it cool? Messing up the plate, man. Yeah, I can't use a smaller strainer because <laughs> it's going to mess up everything now. Shoot, shoot. This not this not make no sense. Wait. Seems as if I'm going to have to use a smaller strainer. I don't want to mess up the whole place, you know. But it's not even bigger than that, so I'm gonna know what this may I do. So I may use funnel. Oh, Ooh, it is so thick. And, ooh, look at that goodness. Smell good, you know? Smell good, I'm afraid. So I'll go ahead and time lapse this.
is the amount I got from the um, ingredients I used. Guys, I tasted it hot and it's bomb. You can't imagine when this school. Yo, right now it says go and drink it. No, but I can't because I'm going to drive soon again soon. And I don't I don't want it to lock me up. The tolerance for alcohol in Japan is zero percent. I want to call you by what measure it's zero. I don't know the scale, but whatever scale I have it on it's zero. Alright, so I'm gonna let this cool. I'm going to add um some bourbon and just you now I'm putting a three ounce. Just throw some in there and um some vanilla and I'll tell you tell you exactly what it tastes like later. Let me tell you something. I would be lying if I told you I wasn't waiting all day to try this. I couldn't wait to go home because I couldn't try it this morning because I put little bourbon in it. And it's not like Jamaica, you can you have a, um, a limit, like a certain percentage that you can. It's a zero in Japan and I'm not about to go to any jail. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This video was going to be titled um, Pass or Fail, but I hope it, if it looks as, if it tastes as good as it looks, I'm 100% sure that I pass. So, the moment. It looks so good. And I was planning to use the egg whites to make meringue, meringue, meringue. I don't remember how it's pronounced. Where you whip the egg whites until they um, become somewhat of a um, frosting or something. But then again, I was like raw egg. I decided I don't want to have any raw egg. Look at that. I'm not even putting any ice. Jeez. Whoa. I want it to look fancy. So of course. Oh my gosh, it's my first and time and I can tell you that. Um, I just, oh, this is not a good idea, but anyway, let be careful. Let me tell you something. I just tried it in the, in another cup. And, what should I say? I say, but I don't say in a school. Yo, it's bad. Trust me, you can go ahead and try this recipe. And I will link it down below. And because I didn't make any meringue, I'm gonna pretty top. I hope it doesn't spoil anything with some whipped cream. Try my best not to get into this um, video. Mm. Mm. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Look how good that looks. Ooh. Anyways, guys, um, trust me on this. It tastes really good. So you can go ahead and try this recipe down below. And this video was supposed to be called um, Hit or Miss or Fail or Pass. And I'm telling you, I passed. I understood the assignment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me for another video. I will see you in the next one. Look at that.